G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews part two of the Hobby King Cloud Surfer FPV sort of AXN like plane with the T tail. And so the weather was fine today. Well, it was cloudy, but it was nice and relatively calm and warm. So out I went. I put the Turnigy action cam in front of the in the front of the model through the plastic dome. Got it behind the plastic dome there. Taped it down. I taped down the front of the canopy as well because I'd heard reports that sometimes that departs. Uh, in flight and I didn't want to lose that so there we go center of gravity was in the right place did my range test and off we went a good healthy launch good hard throw and it just soared out of my hand wonderful actually I'd heard reports these were underpowered but maybe it was the fact that I'm using a different prop but this had plenty of power gobs of power in fact with the 8.5 electric prop I was using on it and yeah good rate of climb very very stable I basically eyed everything by hand, a bit hard because some of the control surfaces are a little bit warped out of the box. The ailerons have a bit of a twist in them, so it was a bit hard to judge what was actually the neutral aileron position because if you lined up one side, it would be up on the other, and if you lined up the other side, it would be down on the first one. So I played around, eyeballed it first, got it sorted out, bit of sub trim, got everything straight as I could, launched it. It required about three clicks of left trim and a little bit of up trim, and it was away. It was really, you know, the trim was so minor, I if I wasn't actually doing a review, I wouldn't have bothered putting in the trim. It was that little of an amount required. And honestly, this thing flies like it's on rails. Okay, today was a pretty calm day, but there was a bit of thermal lift around. So I know that I flew a couple of other models, the FMS Super Easy Trainer and my Bonsai Wing. The Bonsai Wing was getting thrown all over the place with the lift. And I had a few flights with DLG as well. But the, the Cloud Surfer was stable as, and I took some video, as I say, out of the... Um, Turnigy action camera, but also in the second flight, I put the Fox Air Legend camera on the T-tail looking down at the model and the footage from that, well, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm hoping it comes out all right because it will show you that um, the, the very minimal amount of control inputs required to keep this thing flying. You should be able to see the ailerons and the flaps. And then the flaps are brilliant. I just love the flaps on this. I've got quite a large amount of throw on the flaps and coming in for landing. I mean, you put the flaps on, it almost slows to walking pace and just use your throttle to control your rate of descent. Excellent. It's such, I mean, I'd flown the FMS Super Easy Trainer today quite a few times. This is easier than the FMS Super Easy Trainer to fly. It's one of the easiest models I've ever flown because everything happens so slowly, but it does have a reasonable pace if you put the power on and it will do a loop out of level flight. It's got that much power. So there you go. It's not short of power. So all in all, I'd have to say that uh, although I had reservations during the build because of the quality control in some areas, the overall package, the overall result is absolutely stunningly brilliant. I love this plane now. As I'm going to put the Vario, the hobby, or not the hobby, the Free Sky Variometer into this model because I want to do some FPV thermal soaring, and this is the perfect way to do it with the Vario. You need the Vario because there's no seat of the pants when you're flying FPV, but with the Vario in there, I'll be able to tell when I've hit lift and when I haven't. So I'm expecting to get some flights, given the amount of lift we have here, totaling several hours per battery. So that's going to, I'm going to really looking forward to that. But as I have to say, flight characteristics, this is a five star out of five model. It is brilliant. It is excellent. The, I was a bit concerned at one stage about the wobbliness of the tail. You know, T-tails tend to have that torsional wobble. And on the landing with the extra weight of the Fox Air camera on the top, it did noticeably wobble. But during the flight I couldn't detect anything maybe I'll see it on the legend footage when I review it when I get home to edit this video up but from a pilot's perspective and I was only flying line of sight not FPV from a pilot's perspective it was just a brilliant a dream plane can't say enough about it lovely lovely plane so there you go if you're looking for something for nice slow laid back leisurely FPV flying and you're probably going to get pretty good range because that 3,300 milliamp hour battery I probably had a total of 15 minutes flying and it's hardly used any battery so brilliant there you go raved on enough thanks for watching um, i'll leave you with some extra footage here to have a look for yourself at how the cloud surfer flies thanks for watching that's hands off <laughs> can't wish much better than that Good one.
a fairly good road to climb too, eh? Not so bad. It slows down a lot. Look at how much it slows it down with the flat side. It's it full flat. Run out of fuel after that's that. pretty impressive. That's pretty slow. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It wouldn't run out of fuel. No, that's that's the stop. Okay. okay. I'll do a landing. Can we clear the run runway for the landing? No. I've got a crosswind on home. No. You've got to land around the obstacles, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> In between. I'll them. land on the grass strip if I can, although it's pretty shallow. Is that full throttle? No. <laughs> but it's mainly for FPV, isn't it? It's mainly for FPV, but it does air about it. And it'll come down. You see the flaps when it pops up? Yeah. Has it got flaps? Flaps, flaps. got flaps, mate. No. I've got I'll put full flap on now. This should come in very slow. Oh, it's got flaps on now. That's cool. It just skips through the air pretty quickly, doesn't it? It's got a wheel. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really. Beautiful. Well, not much well, the wheel I don't think you can complain about that. <laughs> it flies really well. And that's, is that your first flight? Yes, yeah, that's the test flight, mate. A few oh, clicks of left trim, and that was it. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Flip back up.